what is meant by decomposition potential and how it can be measured experimentally. And now you can also get my lecture notes from chepecmedia.co.nf. The link is given in the description. Let's take one normal sulfuric acid in a beaker and arrange the platinum electrodes in it. When small potential of 0.5 volt is applied across the two electrodes, the ammeter connected in the series shows deflection as the potential applied from the battery increases to 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and so on, the current must increase. But the emitter shows more or less constant current. Why? Because sulfuric acid ionized during the electrolysis will liberate hydrogen and oxygen gases. And these gases will form gas electrodes on the platinum electrode. These two electrodes form electrochemical cell which has practical EMF value of 1.7 volt as this EMF opposes the potential which is applied from the battery. That is why there is no electrolysis phenomena happening. So no deposition at the electrodes and no increase in current. But when the applied potential is more than 1.7 volt then there will be continuous electrolysis phenomena and current increases rapidly. If we plot a graph of current versus applied potential, the nature of graph is something like this. So the current increases slowly till applied potential is 1.7 volt and later on it increases rapidly. So let's define decomposition potential. The minimum external applied potential at and above which electrolysis proceed continuously is known as decomposition potential ED. The decomposition potential of all aqueous acids and alkali is 1.7 volt except hydrochloric acid which is 1.3 volt. So the experimental setup to measure the decomposition potential is shown here which is consist of a cell. Two electrodes are immersed in the electrolyte. The phenomena of polarization is minimized by stirring the electrolyte. The two electrodes are connected with voltmeter V. The battery and variable resistance AB is connected across the two electrodes. Keep the jockey in contact with B. The potential applied for this is found out in voltmeter and for this applied potential current is recorded in galvanometer which is due to the deposition of electrolysis products at the electrodes that is inverse law of Faraday. Go on moving jockey from B to A and for each position of jockey we will find out the value of current. When the observations are analyzed it is found that initially current more or less remains constant for the applied potential but after certain value that is decomposition potential the current increases sharply indicating now continuous phenomena of electrolysis takes place. Decomposition potential depends on nature of the electrolyte, second concentration of the electrolyte, third nature of the electrodes, fourth nature of the product of the electrolysis and temperature. The main applications of decomposition potentials are it is characteristic property therefore varies from electrolyte to electrolyte. Zinc and iron are more electropositive. They are difficult to deposit on the electrodes because decomposition potential value is high. Copper and silver are less electropositive and decomposition potential value is low and therefore they are easy to deposit. As the decomposition potential for iron is more and for copper it is less therefore they can be separated from the mixture. So if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive the latest updates.